Hello YouTube and welcome to my overview of my 7500 points of painted orcs. Want to show you my army for the upcoming edition, 8th edition, very excited, new edition. So let's get started. We'll start right over here with my boys. These are the boys with heavy armor. I've painted uh, 30 of them. And as you probably noticed by now, in the middle there is Warbles Grok. With his attacks quick and his bloody power claw. And next to him is a King Boy. Very awesome model produced by Games Workshop. And over here we have the knob leader for the squad. Alright, then on their right I have the Flash Kids. The Orc Freebooters or Pirates. Led by Captain Bedrock. Bedrock. Very awesome model. Let's see here. Painted a treasure chart on there. Very nice escape on the back. All right, moving on are the mega knobs. They are coming out of the speed freak truck. One big mech with the teleporter blaster. But that's also, a good combination to use for Mega Knobs because trucks are very fast, so you can get your boys in really quick. Then, above the truck is hanging a WAF Bomb Blaster Jet with a Git Buster turret, custom force field over there, and also a nice free hand on the front. Then here we have the war bikers. I have eight of them. One of them is a pain boy on a bike. This one over here. And when um, the last codex was still in use, I made a Was Daka model, but unfortunately he got removed from the newer codex. But still, I can use him as a war boss on a bike. Very nice. So those are the bikers. Then some more redness is my first looted tank. He is based off the looted tank from the game Dawn of War 1. The paint scheme. Try to maintain the sort of animal bruteness the orcs like to uh, fit in their vehicles. So nice. And behind the looted uh, tank is the Morkanaut. It's the one with the custom mega cannon and the rockets on his claw. Those came out pretty well. And I also gave him a custom force field. Then, besides the Morkanaut, are 30 more boys. The only point with these boys is they have shooters. As you can see, there are also three rocket launchers in the group. One here, mm, one there, there, and the last one over there. There is the old model pain boy with a grot orderly next to him and also a knob with a power claw. Moving to the left is a F-Dread. It's the old metal model 
very heavy, but it looks awesome. I really wanted to have one of those and luckily I found one in a, a store called here in the Netherlands. It's called uh, Het Spellerhuis. And when I saw it, I bought it, painted it up and this is the result. Then left from the Death Dread is Gaskul Draka, the Orc of Orcs. Also one of the old metal models and he is accompanied by Matt Dorkrotsnik, the pain boy who fixed him up while he got a bullet in his brain and now Gaskul is in contact with the Orc Gods. They're followed by a squad of 10 knobs. I have five of them with big choppas, well, and one with two power claws. And another five from the Assault on Black Reach kit with regular choppas and slugas. So, kind of a power unit. Besides the knobs is a death threat. And this is actually the first model I ever painted. I did a bit of reworking afterwards when my painting got a little better. But still. He got a scorcher here on the side. Nice model. And here on the other side is my other looted tank. This one is based off the one in Dawn of War 2. So with the teeth made from green stuff. Lots of sawing and knifing to make all those bits and pieces sticking out. Here a nice paint job. There. So yeah, back when Boom Gun still had a strength 8 AP3 large blast hit, those things were awesome. Next to the looted tank is a piece of terrain I made myself. It's just basically a worn out, blown up orc turret, sort of station for the orcs where they could get stuff, but it got blown up. Unfortunately. In front of the terrain is Boss Snickrot with his mighty commandos. I have five regular commandos, one knob, and the one with the big shooter over there. And of course the awesome Boss Snickrot. Very awesome model. And besides them is another death dread. This is the third death dread I made. He is stomping right over a marine, as you can see down there at his feet. And there's his shoulder pad. After he finished killing the marine, he just went on to play with it. Yeah, really awesome model to paint as well. All right. Then over here, on the other side of the Morkenaut, there are more boys. These boys are fitted with Slugas and Choppas. Uh, also a big shooter in the squad. And here some more Assault on Black Reach boys. Two big shooters and in the midst of them is a war boss. Also one of the earlier models I painted. But still they came out pretty well. Then over here is a truck and inside the truck are a squad of stick bombers which I got a second head, a new box but since third edition stick bombers aren't really a thing anymore but still I wanted to have them because well why not fun to paint and to have then behind the stick bombers is the Daka Jet I actually have four planes. I have all of the variations for the planes. Really awesome flyer, especially with the wow where he can di dish out a lot of bullets. Awesome. Then over here are five Defcoptas with twin linked rocket launchers. Very nice models also. And behind the Devcoptires are my Gretchen. 
really tiny Gretchen. But as you can see, I gave them some care as well. Painted them really carefully. So yeah, that's 20 of them. Then moving on to the Stompa. Really nice. This is probably one of my favorite models because it's just pure Orcanus standing right there on the battlefield. And well, that just makes me a happy warboss, we should say. Awesome. Alright, next to the Stompa, we have the Storm Boys. And they are led by Boss Sakstrik. The captain for the Storm Boys. Storm Boys are actually quite different from regular orcs, whereas they have standards and like polish their boots and well. They're a bit uh, more with rules and order and I think it's awesome, they look nice. Then left of the Storm Boys are the Killer Cans. I have nine of them and in the middle is a Big Mac with custom force field to protect them from incoming fire. So I still have three more of them coming to make a total of 12 cans. I really like the mechanized look of an orc army because walkers are awesome. And talking about walkers, behind the cans is my Gorkanaut. It's the other variant of the uh, Morkanaut. This one has the custom Mega Cannon and the custom Mega Blasta on the front with big shooters and rocket launchers. And this one has the Deathstorm Mega Cannon with the Scorch up in front, there are the big shooters and there are the rocket launchers. So it's a difference, this one is a bit more damage dealing or at least shot firing because the Death Star Mega Cannon can dish out lots of shots while this one is a bit more protective with the custom force field but it can dish out a lot of damage as well with the custom Mega Cannon. So that's very nice. Then behind the Morkanaut is my battle wagon fitted with a war boss inside with the attack squake and the uh, what's the name? Combi Scorcha Shooter thingy thing. And he is inside the battle wagon with the death roller and a grabbing claw. Very cool. Then behind the battle wagons are the Lutas hiding behind cover. To provide some supporting fire with their D3 shots per model. And in their middle is a Big Mac with shock attack gun, sucking up those snotlings and sending them through the warp where they get crazed and attack anything they can when they come out. So, yeah, that's very nice as well. The Lutas. And above the Lutas is my Burna Bomber. That one I painted yellow. I wanted a bit of a difference between all the flyers. So, yeah, just decided a little bit of yellow wouldn't hurt the orcs. And even though orcs believe yellow things make a bigger explosion, well, once the club plane crashes, it will be a huge explosion. Just take a look at the rockets. Really nice paint job, freehand as well. Very happy with how he turned out. Yeah, nice. Then behind the Stompa is another battle wagon. This is the second one. More of a um, gun platform battle wagon with lots of big shooters, uh, a cannon. And the art case upgrade, so boys inside are safe. This was actually my first battle wagon, so but yeah, still thing turned out pretty well. And behind the wagon is the weird boy. And the weird boy, let me zoom in a little. So look there he is. 
getting kept in line by the snotlings who got ordered to keep him in line. I also fitted a squig next to him because sometimes when I still could I used him as old sword to transform those pesky enemy leaders into this bad boy. Squiggy squiggy squiggy. Cool cool. Then besides on the side of the weird boy are the war buggy and behind him is the war track. I have two of more, two more to paint of this one, the, no, the, this one, the war track to paint as well. They're fast, you can dish out some damage and very annoying if you ignore them. So yeah. Alright, then moving to this side is one more truck. The first truck I painted with a wrecking ball and next to the truck are the tank pastas. So just lots of anti-tank orcs with rockets and I fitted this one knob with a power claw. Also the bomb squigs, really nice. Very cool to paint. And behind the tank busters are the other elite choice, the burner boys. And they shoot templates with their flamethrowers. Some of them are speed freaks because the uh, lately I tend a little more to the speed freaks because I think they're freaking awesome. And behind the burner boys are the mech guns. And this one I made the bubble chucker variant. It is a bit unreliable but um, once you get the AP3 um, because it has the same strength and AP of one dice roll so for example if you roll 3 it is strength 3 AP3 and you can just kill marines and that's really nice <laughs> okay left of the bubble chakas are my flash kits I know I said these are my flash kits and they are but back in the day when Games Workshop, Games Workshop had no models for flash kits yeah only one I made these guys to fit in for my flash kits so I rarely use them now, but still, I can use them as knobs with shooters or something if I want to. Then over here is my final orc flyer and that is the Blitzer Bomber with a nice free hand on the bombs as well. It's a skull there and on the other side, if I can, yeah, another skull. So those can deal a lot of damage as well. And down here is my last thing, it is my own uh, made unit, it is called a Grot Buggy, led by Captain Scrongit, it's the Gretchen with a power claw. So yeah, just a little fun project of me, but it was fun making. So yeah, I think I covered everything on this battlefield here. Once again, 7500 points fully painted. Except for the squad of yellow stick bombers and the grot buggy. But everything else is legal to use. So yeah, what do you think of my army? Let me know in the comments. Really proud, proud of what I've painted so far, built so far. And I promise there will be more to come. <laughs> See you guys, thanks for watching.